Okay, so we meet again and this is an update to my off-grid solar system. This is about 500 watts and my upgrade to this is I change the charge controller from a 30 amp PM PWM controller to a MPPT power mister. This is supposed to be 60 amp capable and this charges a set of lithium iron phosphate battery about 500 amp hour and I have uh, Echo Flow 2 in the basement so I use the solar charger to charge my batteries in the basement as well. So why did I switch over to the new charger? It's because this is PWM and this one is MPPT. But to tell you the truth, I have noticed practically zero increase in power when I switch over from this one to that one. The reason I didn't want to use this was when it was very hot a couple of weeks ago when it was in the 90s, this started going into thermal protection. When the amperage went to like over 20 amps, so this couldn't handle it. Although I did have a fan on it. So that's, I change it over to this one here. This one has a built-in fan and the fan is supposed to be very quiet and I don't even know if it's running now. There's about 17, 18 amps going into it. So I don't hear it. So it's supposed to have a bladeless fan. So actually the fan is this kind of fan. It's a blower type fan. And I don't think it's that powerful because I don't hear it. I don't know if it works well or not, but at least it is there. So uh, I'm not taking any chances. I put an extra fan here so I can switch it on anytime I want to. It's run by a thermostat. Any temperature over 25 centigrade, it would go on. And this will help cool it down. But today the temperature is pretty cool, so I don't have any problems with the uh, temperature. So you can add a fan or if you don't have high temperature in your area then you, you probably don't need it. Okay so uh, what's my first impression? Well as you can see the display is kind of dim. Uh, of course you can turn it on. It's backlit when, when you don't press the button. When you press the button you can see much more clear and you have the usual um, display. This is the mode, the temperature, but this temperature doesn't seem to change. Uh, it comes with a set of cables that you can attach to the controller and then the probe you put it near the battery. And this is for over temperature. When the temperature gets too high, then the controller can disconnect. Uh, it doesn't have cold temperature disconnect. So if you run lithium mine phosphate batteries, you might want a controller that has low temperature disconnect or buy batteries that have uh, heating cap capability. For me, I just use a relay and I can disconnect the charging when the temperature is below minus two or three degrees. 
So I have my system in the garage. So it's always a few degrees warmer than outside. So I can adjust the temperature. And I also keep the battery in the box so it can withstand lower temperature. But if this goes below minus two or three or four degrees, it will shut off the charger. So back to this charger here. If you buy this, I think it's probably better if you if you mount the charger at eye level because at this angle it's not that easy to read the display and the other peep that I have with this is it displays it displays the solar panel voltage and the watt which is fine but I like to have the battery voltage and the amps coming in so if I switch it over to the battery voltage and the amps coming in it will display for a total of about 60 seconds and then it goes back to the other display which I don't uh, necessarily like but that's the way it is so uh, it doesn't seem to be a way you can go around that if someone knows about how to keep the display uh, on a particular screen you let me know so I pay about $85 including tax for this unit here 60 amp so my solar panels are maybe 500 watts so and it rarely goes over 20 amps coming in if the batteries are really low then I get more amps coming in so 60 amps maybe is it will be good for at least 30 amps so that's my thinking yeah so uh, those are the things that I don't like about the uh, charger for now uh, as you may may not have the problem because for me the MPPT makes little or no difference in the charging compared to the PWM. Um, this is a 12 volt system, so uh, there's not much increase in in power coming in. And yeah, it is cooler even without this extra fan, so that is good. But $85, yeah, it's an upgrade, and I still use another PWM charger to charge. These are lithium-ion batteries. So that's a quick take on this PAL Mr. MPPT charge controller that I got from eBay. All right, if you have any questions, you can ask me and I'll try to answer them. Have a nice day.